Do you hate a part of yourself? I used to. I felt like I was fat. I wasn't pretty enough. I didn't look the right way. Um, this is Rick Wilkes from thrivingnow.com, and I am Kathy Bertilli from theintimacydojo.com. It's a hard question, and we know it's an intimate one. Um, when I ask someone that who's wanting to be in relationship, it's 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 a kind question, actually, I think, because when we hate a part of ourselves, we're pushing that part of us away, and there's a disconnect. It means that we're not as aware in a healthy way it, our energy gets disconnected from it well it takes so away. much energy too to push part of ourselves away yeah. like distancing yourself from yourself is very exhausting right and if we hate our butt or our belly our our the skin on our, the back of our hands our thighs whatever it is yeah um the benefit of shifting that even just a little toward acceptance. Maybe the idea that you're ever gonna like your that aspect of yourself is so foreign, so far away that it would be ridiculous for me to propose that. But what if you just didn't hate it quite so much? What if you accepted it just a little bit more and were open to how that might change what happens in your body? Um, we know that for, for a lot of different things, um, whether it's a illness or injury or that you're, you're just in a place where, um, yeah, you know that that's an aspect of you that hurts and that takes away your confidence when you're relating to others. Well, yeah, it could be experience. I know when I was a teenager, I started developing womanly curves and, um, my thighs um, weren't so slender anymore, and they rubbed together. And I like I was so horrified by that. And there wasn't anything anyone normalized, like, hey, you know, like your body is changing. But there was, I, for me, it was just like, oh, my, bo- my body's doing something I don't want it to, and this feels awful. Like I just, and I had a long, it took me a long time to just appreciate, wow, um, my thighs are actually really strong and the skin is really soft and like I couldn't appreciate it. I just hated everything about it. Right. So that Kathy brings up another aspect. When did you start? So with tapping, you can tune into, okay, so when did I start hating that part of myself? And it may not be a utter hate at a 10, like it's your worst enemy. And it may be, it may be that intense. Whatever it is, tune into that part of you and notice what happens in the rest of you is there like a pulling away that's a very common reaction it's like ah you know you want to get away from that part of you which you i don't kind of like. diso- disassociate dissociated a bit and it was like numb it wasn't like i i wasn't really aware of that part of my body mm-hmm. yeah so these are common physiological reactions and we use tapping and we use it because we get to speak about something that may not be the highest truth, but it's how we feel. We get to start off by, instead of saying, I love my belly. No, even though I hate my belly. Start with what's true for you with now. What, what true on some level for you now. And we tap on that and we move, we give it a direction. How would you like to feel about that part of you? Um, and sometimes we inject a little humor, which might happen here. So, Great. okay. So, um, should we use our, the, as an example, do you want to use belly or butt? Let's use, uh, belly. Belly. Okay. And you can replace the word with the part of you that, that applies. We start at the karate chop. Even though I hate my belly. Even though I hate my belly. And I've hated my belly for a long time. And I've hated my belly for a long time. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch I it. I don't want anyone else to touch it. I don't want anyone else to touch it. I don't want it. anyone to see it. I don't want anyone I to wish see it. it could, I could hide. I wish I could hide. And I wish it wasn't there. I wish it wasn't there. I would look really funny without my belly. <laughs> I would look really funny without my belly. <laughs> Even though a part of me hates my belly. Even though a part of me hates my belly. And I have my reasons. And I have my reasons. And there may be some trauma there. I mean, there may be some trauma there. There's a lot of self-hate. There is a lot of self-hate. I'm open to the possibility. I'm open to the possibility. 
That I don't need to hate my belly that much. That I don't need to hate my belly that much. Oh, I absolutely hate my belly. Oh, I absolutely hate my belly. Don't tell me my belly's not hate worthy. Don't tell me my belly's not hate worthy. Yeah, I hate my belly. I hate my belly. Yeah, I hate my belly. I hate my belly. Who knows? I hate my belly. I hate my belly. Jen, I hate my belly. I hate my belly. Come on, I'd cry if I let myself feel how much I hate my belly. I'd cry if I let myself feel how much I hate my belly. Under the arm. I hate my belly. I hate my belly. Top of the head. And I have my reasons. And I have my reasons. Eyebrow. I've been hurt. I've been hurt. Side of the eye. A lot of that might be in my belly. A lot of that might be in my belly. Under the eye. It's not such a horrible belly. It's not such a horrible Under belly. Those, I'd look funny without my belly. I'd look funny without my belly. Chin. And a part of me doesn't want to connect to all that. And part of me does not want to connect to all of them. And that's okay. And that's okay. Under the arm. I'm open to accepting myself a little bit more. I'm open to accepting myself a little bit more. Top head. I'm in the process of considering. I'm in the process of considering. Accepting my belly just a little bit more. Accepting my belly just a little bit more. Nice deep breath. (sighs) And if you feel okay, touch that part of you Mm -hmm. that... And, and just see if the relationship has changed at all. Um, people who hate a part of their body with intensity also will tend, just my observation, they will tend in relationships to go there very strongly with some other aspect of the relationship or the other person. And if we're learning to relate, that self-relating, you know, learning to say, yeah, this isn't where I'd love it to be, and it's okay. Mm-hmm. It's not, my belly is carrying more, for example, or it has those baby scars. It has um, uh, stretch marks. Stretch or... marks, right. It, it's, it's not as firm as I would like it to be. Whatever it is that is your reason for hating it, by softening that toward acceptance, then there are things just like our belly is a part of the body that we come with. There are things that are in every relationship that are not going to be perfect. Yeah. And this, it doesn't, it actually gives you much healthier boundaries Mm -hmm. because it, it firms up your relationship with the aspects of yourself, which you carry with you and allows you to be in, in a softer kind of more accepting part with, well, yeah, other, other humans things that come up. Absolutely. And I think there's so much wisdom in our bodies. Like our bodies are the way they are because there's a really logical reason for it. Um, it's there to protect us or there's some kind of belief there that mm-hmm. it's, it's responding to. And when we're not resisting ourselves, we can be much more we can be more open with other people and um, not judge them or feel like we need when we feel judged or we're judging ourselves really harshly, we often project it onto other people, even if they're not judging us. Right. And we tend to not be as connected. So um, just if you can, just notice what you're feeling about this and write it down. Um, even a little bit of a change, as Rick will often say, it changes the, the final trajectory of our life, a big deal. Even if we change a rocket ship by two degrees, it's going to end up in a very different place. Absolutely. So we hope this helped. Give it a try and leave comments below. We'd love to know what you think. Mm-hmm. Thank you.